Okay, well, welcome back. Todd Falcone here. This is part two of this two-part series on how to do a three-way call. Okay, so we covered in the last video on how to do it on the, a landline phone. Before I get into the technical nature of how to do it on a BlackBerry or an iPhone or any other cell phone for that matter, I just wanted to talk about something that you never, ever want to do. This is the monumental, monstrous, terrible mistake of three-way calling. Okay, this is... This is that bad, so pay close attention. Number one... There may be instances where you're working with a, a person in your business, maybe you're the expert or the other person's the expert, and you're getting through their initial list of people and you're making dials together. Like say, for example, I'm the expert, I'm working with my friend Bob here. Bob is, uh, I don't really have a little thing that we can call Bob, but uh, we'll call Bob the stapler, okay? So Bob, the, Bob Stapler, that's his name right here, Bob Stapler. And so I'm on the phone with Bob the Stapler, He's my new guy, and he's got uh, his list of people, and we're going to make some dials together. He's brand new. He's never done network marketing yet, and we're going to do these calls together. So I am already on the phone with Bob. There's me on the phone, and here's Bob on his phone over here. So Bob's on the phone over here, right? He's on his phone. And we're talking, and we're going to be calling some of his people. And he's going, okay, well, we're going to call this girl Jan. The Jan's on the top of the list, and Jan is uh, his primo candidate that he's the first person that we're getting to. It doesn't matter the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, or tenth. It doesn't matter. So we're calling Jan. This is what happens. This is the mistake you don't want to make. This is, this is why you got to set your new people up so they don't do this. So um, you got to teach your new people how to do a three-way call because if they don't know how to do it, they're going to potentially do it wrong. And this is a gigantic mistake. So this is the mistake. Bob does this because I didn't teach Bob Stapler in this example how to do this. Bob, three ways over, dials Jan. And I'm sitting here waiting for Bob to flash back over, and Bob hasn't come back yet. And, you know, maybe it's like a minute, and Bob flashes back, and, you know, he says, oh, well, uh, he said, yeah, she, she wasn't in, and, and uh, you know, she wasn't that good of a prospect. Anyhow, she's kind of a, I don't know, she's kind of needy, but she's, you know, she's all right, but, you know, I don't know, maybe she's, let's go on to the next person, and, and you know, gosh, this girl, she's just, oh. And, you know, he just starts rambling on about, you know, whatever, about this, this prospect of his. And then all of a sudden you hear, beep, the message is full. <gasps> what happened? Well, what Bob did, Bob Stapler, what he did is he flashed over and he got his prospect's voicemail and didn't tell me that he got the voicemail. And he decided, hey, you know, Jan, this is Bob Stapler. How you doing? Listen, give me a call when you get a free moment. And then he pressed flash and he brought us back together. What inevitably did is it brought us all back on the phone line together. So his prospect's answering machine heard that entire message. Do you know how many times people have called me like with a big leader on the phone trying to recruit me and I made that same mistake? That's a frigging huge, monumental, stupid mistake. So here's a way to prevent that. When I am working with a new rep, I'm working with Bob Stapler, he's on his phone, I make sure that Bob, first of all, I say, Bob, you dial, it. okay, what you're going to do is you're going to flash over, you're going to dial her number, as soon as it starts ringing in this instance, you're going to press flash and flash right back to me, and you're going to say back, and that way, I, and I say, yep, right here, and that means we, I know that we're both back together, and we're both hearing the phone ring at the same time, so when Jan, if you were to get Jan's uh, voicemail, hi, this is Jan, sorry you missed me, beep, he can then say, hey, Jan, this is Bob, blah, da, 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 give me a call. And then when, the, when he's done leaving the message, he can then press flash and it'll disconnect her. Instead, what he did is he connected us so we're all together. And then he left this, and then he started talking about her. And I'm telling you right now, this is a huge mistake. Don't do it. Okay. How do you do a three-way call on a cell phone? It's a little bit different and it's a little more technologically complex, but it's really not that complex. So I'm on the phone with a prospect right now, okay? I'm on my BlackBerry, and these phones have like a green button and a red button. This is how you end the call. This is the green button right here. This is how you start a call. And the way you start a call is the same way you're going to initiate a three-way call in most cases on a cell phone. So I'm on the phone with my prospect, and I'm going to say, Bob, Bob's my prospect. I'm going to say, hang on for a second. And Bob says, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the green button, and then I'm going to dial my sponsor's number. I'm going to, as soon as I'm done dialing, I'm going to press the green button again. That's what you have to do on a cell phone. And now it's going to start ringing. Good afternoon. This is Andy. Hey, Andy. This is Todd. I'm on the phone here with Bob. He's a mortgage broker. He's taking a look at the business. He likes what he sees so far. You got a couple minutes for a three-way call. And he says, sure. And now I press the green button again. And now it brings us all back together. Hey, Bob, you back with me? Yes, I am. Listen, Bob, I've got my, my, uh, my, one of my experts on the phone. He's one of the key trainers in our company. He's a phenomenal entrepreneur, somebody you're going to be working with as well. And I wanted to make, make sure you guys had an opportunity to meet Andy, meet Bob, Bob, meet Andy. And the conversation goes on. And then when I'm ready to disconnect Andy off of, this is important, 
off of the call, you know, Andy's done and I'm going to finish up with Bob, I'm going to press the green button again. I never press the red button. Never press the red button. The only time I'm going to press the red button is I'm like, okay, Bob, good. You know, I signed Bob up or whatever the case is. Then I'm going to end the call by pressing wherever that button is. Where is it? You can't see it here. Where'd it go? The red button right there, right there. Okay. So a little bit different than a landline phone because you're pressing the send button or the green button on your phone, which is again, this one, right? Where's the flag? Come on now, right there, right there. I don't know what's going on with my camera. It doesn't matter. There's a green button and a red button on a phone. That's how you do a three-way call. Part two. <laughs> we'll see you on another blog post. But you got to get this stuff down, you guys. I'm telling you right now, this is uh, critically important. Knowing how to do a three-way call and be able to just bang it out, no problem. I'm on the phone, flash, to dial the number, flash. That's important. Bumbling around, trying to figure out and hanging up on your prospect, don't cut it. Practice doing a three-way call before you do it. This is Todd Falcone. We'll see you on another blog post. Thanks for watching.